So we're just sitting down to dinner, and before we can even take a bite of food, this breaks out. What's going on here? Is that Spider-Man? Why did you join us for our food tour on Carnival Panorama? Find out. What better way to start our first dinner at sea than dinner at the Vista restaurant? Starting with a Bahama Mama cocktail, it has rum, grenadine, all sorts of wonderful things, so let's give it a try. And best of all, the colors match the sunset. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> The best thing about inclusive dining is that you can order as many things as your heart desires. So tonight, we're going to share three different appetizers. The first one we're going to try is actually a recipe from Emeril Lagasse. It's a crawfish souffle. So we'll see what that tastes like. So let's see how this tastes. Very flaky. Look at that. It also has a dipping sauce. That tastes wonderful. We're also having duck rolls with a wonderful sauce here. Can't wait to dive into them and see what they taste like. I can't wait to see how this tastes. So I'm going to cut into it with a knife, of course. It's fighting me. Okay, I'm going to dip it. And let's see how it tastes. Let's try. Mm. It's nice and fresh. It has a um, really sweet and sour kind of taste to it, but it is delicious. Our third appetizer. We're trying something that might look a little more recognizable. It's barbadale, but it's with braised lamb. So I'm excited to taste this. Okay, let's see how this tastes. We've got a nice long noodle here. The noodle is just dissolved in your mouth, and the lamb gives it a really earthy taste. It's really good. Normally, Bobby and I will try to get something different on the entree, but tonight we are both uh, trying the spare rib. I mean, it looks beautifully, it's well presented. It rests on a really wonderful bed of mashed potatoes, and there's some great green beans around it. So I don't know about you, but I'm ready to taste this. I am all ready for this. Let's see how this thing tastes. Oh, well, I thought I was ready for it. Here we go. <laughs> it's really just melt your mouth, well seasoned, and I like it. I think it's a great idea that we had this tonight, Grandpa Bobby. I'm real pleased. Delicious. And as if that wasn't a heavenly meal, we went a little overboard with dessert. 
We're starting with the famous caramel melted chocolate cake. And then I got the strawberry cheesecake. Well, at least you added some fruit. That's in my diet. My doctor says I needed to. And then we're going to share a beautiful cheese plate. Good morning. Today is our first full day at sea. It's a beautiful morning and we're starting it off at the Blue Iguana for breakfast. Breakfast at the Blue Iguana is included in your fare. Today we're having huevos rancheros. They also have breakfast burritos and a number of different items and incredible salsas that you can add to it. So let's see how this tastes. There's nothing like a little egg and a tortilla in the morning to get you started. Mm. There's beans and meat in that too, so it makes a really sumptuous bite. Guy Fieri's Pig and Anchor Brew House and Smokehouse is a really popular dining venue on the ship. It's open for both lunch and dinner. Lunch is complimentary and included in your fare. For dinner, it's an extra cost. They also brew their own beer on board at their brew house, and you can schedule a visit while you're there. Their barbecue is highly rated. Guy's Burger Joint is open for lunch and is included in your cruise fare. Hey everybody, uh, we're having lunch at Guy's Burger Joint. Uh, we heard a lot about the place, so we're going to test it out. I'm starting out with the straight up burger, and then Grandpa Bobby will tell you what he's having. Okay, here it is. I'm going to go in for a bite. Let's see what it tastes like. Here we go. What do you think, Grandpa? To be honest, I'm underwhelmed. It's just okay. The, the meat is not seasoned. Uh, the bread is kind of wet so all in all i wish guys i could say you know hey it's a great rave but with this no not so much sorry so i wanted to switch it up a little bit and i'm having what's called the ringer which has guys famous barbecue sauce on it but also has an onion ring so we'll see how much better it tastes than grandpa scott's it's a big patty with an onion ring, and they've got a ton of toppings on here. So let's see if I can put this all together. Okay, well, let's see how it tastes. It's fine, but to be honest, I'm still a fan of in and out Sorry, guy. Five, five, five Fahrenheit Steakhouse is one of those specialty dining areas that are not covered in your cruise fare. It is very popular, so make your reservations very, very early. If it will not break your travel budget bank, a specialty dining night out is a wonderful little celebration on a cruise. The Lido Marketplace is the Panorama's Big Buffet. Eating here is included in your cruise fare. It has a wide variety of food options for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. From previous food video tours, you all know that I am not a big fan of these open buffets, so we did not do a lot of eating here the gelato was a hit with everyone, including us. Good evening. We're back at the Vista restaurant. We thought we'd try it again. And of course, we needed to start out with a little libation. So I'm having a Bahama Mama 
filled with all sorts of rum and grenadine and fruit juices, so I am getting my fruit. Now, I don't want to shock anyone, but I'm going to go out and have some sex on the beach. That's the name of the cocktail I'm having tonight, okay? So, cheers to you all. Oh, sex on the beach. Ain't bad. So we thought we'd shock our system a little bit by actually having something green. It's a salad, believe it or not. We're having a wonderful looking Greek salad. But I couldn't resist also having an Emerald Lagasse crab cake. So this is crab and shrimp cake. So let's taste that. So let's see how this tastes. Beautiful golden clump. Next time, next time. Mm. Great coating on it and it melts in your mouth. And like Grandpa Bobby, I am having the Greek salad because my body was craving some greens. So let's see how it tastes. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Greens are all fresh. The feta cheese is that little nice touch you always create with the Greek salad. The olive is a green olive. It really has a little different dimension. You get your tomato and you get your fresh cucumber. All in all, a really great salad here on Carnival Panorama. And you look healthier already. Don't I? Have I lost the chin? Well. well, tonight we're switching it around. Usually, I'm the one that always orders the seafood, and Grandpa Scott's always got the bacon. But tonight, I'm ordering Emeril's stuffed chicken breast with prosciutto. It looks delicious. Let's try it. Mm. Really moist chicken with a wonderful sauce and that prosciutto you can't lose. And also I've mashed potatoes. What winner. And like Grandpa Bobby said, I am going with the seafood tonight. I got a beautiful swordfish. I can't wait to dive into it and see how this tastes. Excited about this. Let's taste it. And my swordfish. It's absolutely wonderful. A perfect with good bake on it. Um, and the sauce is unbelievable. I gotta find out exactly what it is because it really heightens the flavor in the swordfish. So all in all, I'm gonna give this swordfish five yummers. Definitely five yummers. You may remember the opening sequence of our video where we asked, what was this all about? Well, in the Vista restaurant, it's not uncommon for the crew to don some really bright outfits and put on a performance for all of us lucky enough to eat during their show. It was fun, it was a hoot, and we enjoyed it immensely. And as you can see, so did the diners that night. Yes, we may have done a lot of eating on this cruise, but we made sure every night to be able to walk the decks and try to walk off some of those calories. One night, we decided to eat at the Bonsai Restaurant. This is a specialty facility, and inside they have a special room with a tapanaki table. It's a really great show. Thank you very much, you're lucky. 
The food was amazing, and at the end, we each got a Benito box with six individual desserts. Stairs are a great way to fight those cruise calories. Well, you all get the point, right? Good evening. Tonight we're treating ourselves to one of the specialty restaurants. This is Gigi's and it's a Chinese restaurant and we're really looking forward to it. And always remember when we say a specialty restaurant, that means it's an extra charge beyond your fare. We're starting out with a little treat from the chef. It's a potato cake that is fried with sweet and sour, a little side salad, so it looks delicious and the presentation is beautiful. Let's give this a try. Mm. It's crispy on the outside and very soft potato on the inside. Kind of like a Chinese version of a tater tot. I have been looking forward to this appetizer. It is the Nanying Duck. The recipe goes back 1400 years. And it is slow cooked first and then deep fried. And I can't wait to tear into this duck. And boy, this looks good. Let's just, oh, that crust is going to be beautiful. Bobby's going to have to wait because I'm taking this first piece. And once again, cruise ships never give you sharp knives. <laughs> it doesn't matter which one you're on. I don't know if they're afraid you're going to use it on somebody, but here, here we go. I'm going to put it on my plate now. And now I'm going to try it. Oh boy, just look at that. That, that skin is just crispy as can be. Mmm. Mm. Beautifully, but gently spiced. It is so delicious. The skin is what's driving me crazy. The skin is nice and crispy. The duck is really moist. And I would say on this appetizer that we're giving it five yummers out of five. For our second appetizer, we're having pot stickers, which is a favorite of ours. The presentation is absolutely beautiful. It's like a work of art. Of course, my only pet peeve might be that when you're sharing appetizers with two people, why do they just give you three? <laughs> this is so cute and bite-sized. Let's see if it tastes half as beautiful as it looks. Mm. Delicious. Absolutely soft, gooey inside, just the way I love pot stickers. Yummers. What's inside? Pork. Mmm. And now it's inside my belly. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are having an amazing feast. First, we're starting off with Himalayan basmati fried rice with chicken. Next, we have sweet and sour shrimp with beautiful fruit and vegetables. Next, we have wide noodles with oriental mushrooms, nuts, onion, carrot, a lot of vegetables. And finally, the piece de resistance. They call this Chairman Mao's stock pork. This is actually cooked in a clay pot and then it is wok fried. It looks beautiful. What a feast we have had. And we're closing it out with two beautiful desserts. We're having caramelized crepes. And we're also having fried wonton in beautiful little tapioca pearls that look so beautiful. Now, I just want to say that we have mentioned that this is a specialty restaurant, which means it's an upcharge. But honestly, what they charge here is less than half what you would find in any upscale restaurant. So really, if you're on a Carnival Panorama cruise, we highly recommend that you book a table at Gigi's restaurant. You'll enjoy it immensely. 
I don't know about Grandpa Bobby, but I'm really loving tonight's dinner because I love Chinese cuisine, and this has been so far exceptional. Um, everything has been so well presented and so beautifully and tastefully cooked. And no Chinese meal could be finished without fortune cookies. Okay, so let's see what mine says. Oh, fine print. Mine says, catch up with various neglected chores and reach your goals. Well, what fun would that be? And what does yours say, Grandpa Scott? Let's see. Wow, this is interesting. We see Alaska in your future. <laughs> what do you think that means, Grandpa? I don't know, Grandpa Does that Scott. mean we got an Alaska trip coming up soon? Mm, sounds very auspicious. Yes, it does. Well, and who are we to disobey the Chinese fortune cookie? We can't. Cookie? If the fortune cookies say we go to Alaska next, we go to Alaska next. Alaska, here, here we, we come. come. Hey everybody, if you've enjoyed our video, we'd really appreciate it if you would help us grow our channel by subscribing, give us a like, and hit that notification bell. And if you've been on Carnival Panorama, we'd enjoy hearing your comments about your trip.